just don't be weird. Okay. Hi, YouTube. Um, all right. So we're going to start off with Forex per usual, then go to the S&P. I do want to start trading the S&P um, next week again because my markups on it have just been um, have been excellent. Um, I, I don't know, dude. I, I, I'm just kind of getting locked into this trading shit. So, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been doing pretty well. Um, up like 40 something K this week. Um, life's been great. <laughs> life's been good, man. Um, but anyways, let's talk about gold, then Forex, then the S&P. Um, we have federal chairman Powell speaking today, so that will probably affect gold or it'll definitely affect gold and it will maybe affect uh gu okay um it's just something to keep in mind he talks an hour 30 minutes into new york stock exchange open okay um so that's just something that we should know okay so let's talk about gold we have boom london session lows we push right past that we just made a high right here we also took out liquidity from this low okay so i'm interested to see if price wants to um turn around and go higher again gold has been in a pretty steep downtrend recently um if we go and just look like this however if you guys saw my pre-market TikToks or whatever, um, I do think gold will have a big push up today because I, so let me, this is where, this is something about market experience. Okay. I've seen this happen just like millions of times, you know, who knows if it's going to happen today, but this is just usually what happens. And I'm sure you guys have seen this just on a, a smaller time frame and on a lower scale. Whenever there's something like this, like a double top, <laughs> fuck your fuck, your patterns, bro. But whenever there's something like this, like a double top or a pattern or just a break of structure about to form, most of the time, this candle won't just break it off rip. Like it just, it won't, like most of the time, this candle, this big candle coming down, it'll, it, there will always be like one candle that wicks below the low before it decides whether or not it wants to break structure or go higher so that leads me to believe i've seen this on high time frame and low time frame that leads me to believe that this thing is going to bowl up until okay it's going to it's going to push higher up above this weekly this weekly low and it's going to stay above this weekly low until market close Again, it could break structure, but based on what I've seen over just the course of these years is most of the time it won't break structure like this. It'll leave a wick that goes underneath here and then the next candle, it again, doesn't matter the time frame, right? All price action is very similar amongst pretty much every single time frame, right? This could very well be a five minute time frame if we wanted to, if we wanted to say that, right? It's just the candles are closing at a lot slower and a lot longer rate. Okay, so um, yeah, that's, that's ideally what I'm seeing on gold. Um, I do think we are bullish on this today up, up until above this weekly high. Okay, and then... You know, we also have this high. It's confluence with that. So gold is kind of my one that I want to be focused on today. The issue is that we have we do have Powell speaking today. So ideally, like, if Powell wasn't speaking, you know, we find a long somewhere in here. If it does present itself off of, you know, break of structure, hold this thing up until here, and we're chilling, right? Um, but Powell makes things interesting. <laughs> um, Powell pretty much makes it like, okay, now we have a time limit. We have a deadline for when we have to be out of all of our positions because ideally I'm out of everything by the time Powell steps up on the pulpit because by then volatility has died down. Um, volume has died down. It's a Friday, right? You never really want to be holding positions over the weekend, unless it's a swing trade, um, 
because a new week brings a bunch of new problems. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on gold. I do want to take longs and I do want to hold it up until we get to this weekly high. Um, and we'll see if we get that. And again, right. I do think it'll be look like something like this. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Something like this. Okay, um, and then let's talk about GJ now. So we pushed past this high, and I talked about this in the TikTok again. Why didn't I take shorts off of this? I'm sure some of you guys took shorts off of this. This is market experience, and this is also just being a having an IQ, okay? Um, if you take a short off of this, what were you thinking, okay? Um, I, and this goes... This is why I don't like EAs and I don't like bots because if I had an EA or an algorithm set up for my strategy like this, it would have taken a short. I didn't take a short. Why? Because is this even a stat an established high? Let's move this. Boom. This is what it looked like. This is when London session closed or not closed. This is when right when New York Stock Exchange opens. There's n there's no actual high here there's not liquidity so with that knowledge with that understanding we should know that there's no liquidity sitting here there's nothing to take out so therefore a break of structure the downside means nothing to us absolutely nothing right however we do have liquidity right residing boom above this high Okay, and that's where we're currently at now. Let's get rid of this. That's where we're currently at now, above this high. I would love to look for shorts. I do think the yen is just the yen is just ass, bro. The yen is just so weak, and it goes through these periods and times, um, just over the course of ye of the years. And when I was really cooking on GJ back in the day, it was during just just the weakness of the yen and like as you can see it, you're it's just pure bull pure bull you're saying please bull and it follows every single command okay um but we could look for some sort of retracement off of these highs off of a potential break of structure to the downside but i mean if if i'm being honest i'm not even i i don't even want to even look for potential shorts and if i do there would have to be a lot of confluence like it would have to boom break structure ideally we come down below this too um and take profits would be minimal right take profits would be under short-term lows like here here because in reality do we really think this extremely bullish pair is going to come all the way down into these lows probably not right so that's that's another thing to think about again and this all that this is just market intuition knowing the market and just thinking logically right i don't care what the strategy says yes the strategy says oh we get a we take out the high we get a break of structure it's more it's more than that and it's like the intangibles that you have to combine with that in order to be profitable because everybody can execute on a strategy. Everyone can execute with discipline. But that's what my most recent video was on, talking about market experience. You need that in order to know what trades not to take and what trades to take. And I'm releasing a video today on literally what trades not to take and how to know when not to take trades. And hopefully that can help you guys gain that market experience quicker. Okay, so that's GJ. Now let's talk about GU. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wow, this looks great, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Okay, so we had this, um, wow. We had this, um, what is this? We had this Lon old London session high that was pretty much in line, uh, um, pretty much in line with this 30 minute um, Asian session low. Um, very high confluence together. Wow, this looks incredible. <laughs> um okay so yeah um and we got a break of structure low-key i might enter shorts on this but my only issue would be that i don't even think i have an issue with this to be honest
top flow with all these vibes. Get it some vibes. Hey guys, 1.5 and I'm top 5 and I'm 2 to 5. Um, this looks good. We did break structure on the 4 hour. Filled this whole imbalance. This this will probably fall. Um, we're we're still relatively respecting these highs too, because if you go on the thirty minute, you see that we don't close above here. We wick all the way up above into these highs, wick past this, and on the one hour, this thing just looks pretty, man. So looks really pretty. Close below these highs. On the four hour, it, it, it doesn't look as pretty because we can't see that that smaller price action. But this looks great. Um, keep our eyes on that. Keep our eyes on gold for sure. Wow. I think my main focus want, will probably be gold and GU for now. I could kind of care less about GJ. And that's unfortunate because... Um, <sighs> Let me get my phone out, too, because I think we're probably going to take this pretty soon. Um, what's this? I lost my diamonds, bro, in a mosh pit. I lost my Degar songs. Um, okay, yeah, so gold, I like... GU, I want to give this one more, a little bit more time. Um, Loki, like, I would love to get a short position anywhere in here above this high. Um, we did already break structure here, though, with this. Um, we got gold um, closing in under a minute. My guess is we go long on this. Um, let me figure out where my stop's going to be. Yeah, so if we close above here on gold, I'll, I'll end up going long. Um, let's see what it wants to give us. Cash, I got it. Bands, I got them. Hose, I got them. Clothes, I got them. All right. I took a long position on gold. Um, clothes, I got them. Mm. Yeah, but I got a model. Yeah. Bing, go to get a link up. I got it. Bands, I got them. Okay, so that's gold. I just went long on that. Um. How was I got them? Close, I got them. I'll I'll be really pressed if this is another one of those stupid freaking situations. Um like what happened when was this? Yesterday or the day before no, not yesterday. We didn't even trade yesterday. The day before where we break structure and then it just does some stupid shit and just like goes straight down. Um but let's look at GU looks great for shorts. Dude. At least on no way. Ideally, we get a better entry on this because I feel like I just don't want to miss it, you know, before it 
just freaking breaks and drops off the face. Ideally, we get like one more push back up into here because we're we're closing bearish right now. I I think we do end up pulling up a little bit higher. Um on this uh, once we get this 15 minute closure did we even talk about the s p yet let's talk about the s p now okay so we have hourly lows underneath here we have these hourly highs that we just took out so i don't really care about that anymore um to be honest i won't really be looking on at anything on the S and P until um, let's put this here until I get like actual good solid confirmation. Um, you know, just because we have Powell speaking, um, we have relative equal lows here. Um, but yeah, ideally we just wait for a market open on on that dude I don't know if I should just get into this and gold we're already in gold but I don't know if I should just just jump into this thing too time to attack um Equal lows here. Only problem is it did it broke structure on the four hour. I low key think this thing. Hold on, let me find the uh, schmink. I want to be really patient with this. Okay, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. I think we can find longs on this actually and swing it into next week. Um, okay, so we have this 30 minute 30 minute high combined with this 30 minute low as liquidity. I think we push down into here, take this out, fill this, whatever, and then can rally off of that. But I low-key just wanna take, I kind of would rather just take one trade today. Um, just because of the whole Powell thing, we'll see how long this gold trade lasts. This gold trade lasts, but, um, Switch us, GJ. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll see what this wants to do. And dude, gold is being just so annoying. We have this nowhere near you. Um, Does look like great shorts, but uh, I do think we come under here, sweep that, and then rally. Yeah. We'll see, and we'll see what gold wants to do off of this order block, because it pretty much just have the base of it. See what it wants to do off of this. This one minute order block as well. Pretty much in the same spot as the five minute. GJ, man. Dude, I swear if gold does this two days in a row. Bro, no. 
No. No. Dude, and GU's dumping. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I'll be, I'll be upset if, um, if my bias isn't correct on, um, on this giving us a reaction to the upside. Same thing with this, I think um, similar, oh, I didn't even talk about this, or yeah, we, similar to how gold, I think gold will close above this line. Um, you know, maybe it's not off of this trade, but I do think, I st still think gold closes above this line on the weekly time frame. Similar to that, I think GJ, sorry, G, yeah, GJ, I think GJ closes below here. Go say. Think it closes below this low. But they go say. Wanna hop out of the show with a stick? Hop out with a stick. Oh, never draw my neighbor. All right, I think I'm just gonna turn the recording off. Dude, my eye, I literally think I haven't been getting enough sleep yet. Can you see that? My eye, my eye just twitches like nonstop. It's so bad. My eyelid just like g glitches out, bro. Dude, I swear, don't take me out. Oh, and I'm gone. <laughs> and I'm gone. I got stopped out on gold. Um. I don't know if I want to take anything else today. Ooh, dude, the S&P looks good, bro. Market just opened on it. We'll watch the S&P. Um, swag ain't cheap. This bag ain't free. Full port to make up for gold loss. I didn't even lose much on gold. Um, I lost 6K on gold. Um, I de-risked today because I knew the Powell thing was going on. So instead of my usual like 50 or like 100 lots on gold, I just did 20. Um, not not worth the... Uh, the risk when Powell's coming up to the pulpit, you feel. Um, and we're not even going to make it out of here. Um, but I do like, uh, I like this action on the S&P. Looks, looks great. Came into this order cock. Um, we could get a cheeky, a cheeky Laplaceki off of this. Stealing swag up like a disease. No, make a high. Oh, you suck. You suck. Is this a high? Oh, it is.
Ideally, we make something lower, but if we just if we just rip, then uh, then I wouldn't mind a long john bomb on this. And again, I would de-risk myself. I would definitely de-risk myself. If this breaks above here, I'll probably go long on it. No closure above. No trade. not gonna lie if we get a push into this order block and then a strong reaction off of it I wouldn't mind taking that as a trade even if we don't break structure yet because this that's a liquidity so like you can just tell by that candle this move down strong move up right after fondling that sack you know for the only The only issue with this is I do think I think Powell's going to set everybody straight because Biden, when did Biden speak? What was that yesterday or two days ago? And he pretty much was just, you know how he is. He just loves gassing himself up, talking about how great the country is under him when in reality we know it's ass. Um, and that's not to say that Biden's the worst and, um, you know, someone else is the best. It's just, you know. I just, he, it's just stupid. Um, but yeah, he did pump the market the past like two days. And I think federal chairman Powell is going to come up today and just be like, yo, let's slow down for a second. <laughs> um, oh, this dope burning on my sleeve. GJ. Fatty rally back up. What's GU doing? Nothing. Cool. Okay, so we just push back into this order block. If we get a reaction off of it, then I'll then I'll long it. Like this in itself. If we get a blue candle off of this, this would be money. Dude, yeah. Alright. I'm going long on this. I just went long. Um Me when the market literally does nothing. Keep a sticker to fake myself. Out of calls. A boss. Goddamn. Goodbye. Powell speaks in 30 minutes. And if we don't hit take profit or stop loss, um, by the time he gets up, I'll probably move my stop to break even. Um, I'll probably move my stop to break even. Um, just a freak. I don't even know. You, I hate your friend. Top flow shit, yeah, pal shit, yeah, that shit's what we in. Bro. If this gets a break even, I'm cutting it. Literally move myself to break even. Loud pack, who hit that loud pack? Smoking that apex. Crash pack, and I'm blowing it. Blowing through on it, I'm throwing it. All right, out of break even. That's so annoying because I literally could have closed on the day at break even right here. Could have closed on the day at break even right there. Blue to poo, you all wanna fuck it. You didn't have a clue. Damn, get it up. Baby, sex, send me like a sip cup. 50 bucks. Gang, gang.
Okay. So that's it. That's it for the day. I'm glad that I got out with that. Literally, like, it doesn't, doesn't even show a number on the SPX. So literally just nothing gained, nothing lost besides commission and fees. Um, so I lost about an extra, like, what is it, 160 bucks because I got stopped out at break even. But, yeah, ending the day at... Um, down six thousand one hundred eighty two bucks um feel free to keep holding this if you want to i'm i just personally don't want to wait um for powell me personally 